Hi everyone, this is Chinmay back again and last week I uploaded a video about my Java course which uh, I just wanted to promote. Uh, so today again I am going to talk about the same thing but in this video I am going to explain you like why you should take this course and what kind of differences it can make if you will take this course and will try to get a job in Japan. So this course is basically uh, I mean this course is specifically uh, about the people who are familiar with the Japanese uh, language and really want to move themselves from India to Japan so because right now I am in Japan and I am working here uh, for a big bank and I am a Java and Kotlin developer before that I was working with Golang so like since I moved to Japan and like from India and I, I, I had some like very really, nice and great experiences in, in my life and I really understood that uh, living in India and living like also outside of India can make a huge difference in your day-to-day -day life and can help you a lot to rephrase your dreams your life like for a longer period of time of course being in India and living in India is I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that is bad or that is not good but nowadays like almost each of like each of us really want to move themselves from India to abroad like some people want to go to US or the Europe or Australia or New Zealand or like it can be any country which you really like but in my case I, I, I really like Japan like since my childhood so finally uh, like around last year I was able to move myself from India to Japan and in, in Japan in this video I just really want to promote the lifestyle and the living standard uh, way which you can experience being in japan so in japan like day life is so simple it's, it's it's so amazing because all you need to do is just to focus on your personal life and your professional life because here like by the government you are being provided all the uh, necessities or the essential fundamentals for your day-to-day -day life so you feel so free so light i mean like that i mean the all the stress you you, you need to take a take it will be about your personal life and your work life other than that everything is so 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 smooth so much enhanced and an upgraded version of life as compared to uh, my my previous like 20 or 28 or 27 years of experience of living in india so i am i'm really glad that i was able to move myself from india to japan and Right now, I'm just like uh, I mean, I'm just trying to live a good life. Or like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I should say this or not, but most of the time, I think I'm living the life which like uh, many people are dreaming right now in India. So I just want to help you people also to move yourself from India to Japan, or at least to to get yourself a job being in India. I'm just I'm just about to start a course, a live coding course in Java which will help you to break into the IT field if you are a completely beginner and, and get a job as a professional Java developer. In this course, I am going to start programming with uh, zero so you don't have to know anything you, even if you are absolutely beginner. This course is for you. I mean, this course will, this course will work you very fine and even if you are knowing some basics, 
like basics of Java or basics of programming. In that period also, it will work for you. So uh, I designed this course for six months and in six months, I just really want to introduce all the fundamentals of programming language and yeah, of course using Java. And after that, I really want to provide you like two projects, which will be completely production level uh, microservices, uh, which basically, like, I mean, that's what company, I mean, right now company actually want. So I will be helping you to build a complete production level microservice uh, backend uh, from start to finish. Uh, so, uh, so basically whenever you will be, uh, whenever you will be facing an interview, you can showcase your skills as a proper professional Java Java developer who built a complete a production level microservice from start to finish. So uh, basically in the next six months, I will be helping you with each and every single step from starting like from writing your first hello world in Java to finishing your production level microservice, which you can mention. Of course, you have to mention in, in, in your resume and your portfolio. I designed it in like two parts, the first three months and the next three months. So in the first three months, we will be building one project which, which will be a REST API using uh, Java and Spring Boot uh, using PostgreSQL database and the Redis as a cache, as a cache system and a Google OAuth authentication. So basically for first first three months, I want to introduce you the basics of the uh, coding so you can feel confident when you are having an interview as a Java developer. So like you must be knowing theory as well. So in the first three months, uh, theory and a one project and all the like data structures, a PC data is structure which you actually need to know when you work as a Java de developer. So in the first three months, there will be a f fundamentals of coding and a one complete backend project, which will be a complete REST API for uh, for cloud operations uh, using Java, Spring Boot, Docker, Redis, and like uh, all the all, all the good stuff you need to deploy the application. In the next three months, we are going to hit to, we are going to hit by a major project, which will be a complete microservice from start to finish. This is going to be a uh, like production level, fully tested and working microservice, which you can actually use uh, to deploy and to make some like production level uh, service as a backend. So for the next project, We'll be making it, of course, live. I, like, I will be live coding with you and we'll be guide, guiding you through each and every single step. So when we'll be building the microservice project, we'll be uh, using again Java's Java and Java Spring Boot and Spring Boot Web, Play, Web Flex for reactive programming in Java and multi-threading to making uh, uh, like to make our application or our, our, our backend as a very scalable and the load efficient backend. We'll be using Docker Kubernetes and we will be deploying our application on render.com. So we'll be we will be using Docker registry for for that and we will be setting up CI C D pipeline on GitHub. And along with that for the database side we'll be using PostgreSQL for as a as our main database for each microservice and then for the caching we'll be using redis and we'll be trying to make it a distributed caching system which can make your application even more efficient so all these things are the things which you really need to know when you try when you try to enter uh, into the industry as a professional java developer and, uh, and this is exactly what the companies are looking right now in japan in japan java is still one of the most popular and one of the most demanding language you can easily break through into the industry and 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 getting yourself a job as a java developer in japan if you are knowing at least and five or and four level of uh, japanese which means like day-to-day -day life conversational japanese and this course six months and yeah it's completely fine even even if you are a completely beginner and if you I mean, even if you're a completely beginner in both in the japanese language and uh, and the programming field. So for both the field, if you are a completely beginner, I have the language courses as well. So I can help you to learn. I mean, in in the six months on a parallel way, I can help you to learn GLPT N5, N4. And along with that, I can, of course, I will be helping you to, uh, to learn Java, to make yourself a proper professional Java developer, which can, or which should be able to crack the Java interviews to get, to get it, to, to get, 
yourself a job whether it is in india or in japan so uh, like there, there can be two cases the first you know japanese but you don't know it so you want to get get to japan and you want to give yourself a better life in japan and want to have a job here second one is you don't know japanese at all and you don't know it at all in in that case you can i'll ask me for, for the help or you can make your uh, inquiry to learn the japanese language and the uh, it course as well so that will be a comprehensive and like, intense training for 6 months where i will be helping you with uh, java and your conversational japanese uh, uh, conversational uh, japanese language skill so that that can also be done in the like 6 months and if you are if like as i just said if you are already knowing the language it's completely fine so in both the cases feel free to join this course i already told you like well, what we are going to do we are going to divide the course in two parts first three months and and the second three months first three months i will be make you very much comfortable with the java as a programming language and the next three months i will help you to build a complete production level microservice from start to finish which we will be at which we will actually be deploying on render.com and we will be and we'll be writing test code so for the last three months when we will be building microservices we will be writing test as well for each and every service so there will be a tdd uh, development it's a test driven development which is the essential part when you when you really want to work in, in a company and in japan when you try to get a job as a java developer or as a python or golang developer they always ask you that uh, like, do you have any experience of tdd test driven development or like were you were you using uh, tdd in your pre- previous company or like when you were trying to attempt a boot camp or when you were learning programming like did you uh, learn tdd i mean that the, the writing test so because writing tests are extremely important when you work for a production level project because i am working uh, in a very big bank a uh, very big bank of japan as the backend engineer so on every single day i am writing tests i am testing my application and like like whenever we develop a new feature we always write or we always have to write test for it otherwise we, we, we otherwise we cannot deploy it so all this architectural behavior all these like best practices i will be helping to learn in this course okay if you are having any doubt if you are having anything to ask about it just feel free to write any comment or try uh, or just feel free to contact me via email or on linkedin and i will love to answer your your queries and the course is about to start next week so it it, it depends like how much queries and questions i will be receiving after the the last video so based upon that i can extend the starting date if possible the fee for the course is completely affordable so don't worry about that you will be able to afford it and it is not a recorded course lecture it is a live coding sessions which will help you a lot because in live coding session you are like like there will be person who will be available for you like throughout the class to whom you can ask your doubts your queries like at the same time when you when you are taking the lecture when you are studying or when you are trying to understand some concept so that is way more better than attending a recorded uh, sessions or lecture Okay so that's all for this video and I just wanted to introduce this course you again and wanted to tell you like why you should move here in Japan again you can rephrase your dreams and your life once you move yourself from Japan uh, from India to Japan so yeah, I'll see you in the next video thank you